Hi folks, it's time to now machine the bearings. Okay, they need a fair bit of cleaning up as usual. One thing I'm a bit disappointed at, the plans call for the final size of this width here to be 5 8 or 625 foul. When I measure it before I touch it, I'm already undersized. I don't know if you can see that. So, I guess it doesn't matter that much. It's obviously not a critical measurement. So I'll just clean them up again as best I can and work with that. I'll clean them up on the linisher first. I'm not going to show you that. I've showed you enough linishing. And then I'll show you how I proceed to machine them. It'll be a little bit different to everybody else. Hopefully it'll work. Thank you. Okay, the, the castings of the bearings are now cleaned up on the linisher. Just roughly cleaned up, just so I can get some, get all the dags off and get some bases that I can mount in the milling machine. Uh, I'm going to uh, start setting these up in the mill, machining them down to a rough size, and then I'm going to do something a little different with them. As I said before, they've cleaned up okay. That I don't know how accurate the finish has to be, but I'll get it as best I can. Thank you. I'll bring you along next time. We've got the lower blocks, lower bearing blocks, mounted in the vise on the bottom face. Now it is an eighth of an inch to come off, oh, roughly. 120 thou or something. So I'm mounted them up. I'll take about 50 thou off this face and about 50 thou off the other face and then machine them to size. I've just got them sitting in the vise on a pair of parallels underneath just for rigidity. Uh, I've got a brand new cutter in this. I my uh, other cutter is getting a bit dull, and since this is gunmetal, I want a good finish on it. So I'll bring it down and touch it off. Off. We'll go up and zero, it's a bit hard with the camera, zero the depth and we'll take it off that. I'll mount the camera on the tripod now, it's a bit easier. We'll just take a 10 power cut using power feed to see how it goes. Okay, what I'll do is I'll bring that block down about 50 thou. And then what I'm going to do is reverse it and bring the base down. Then I'll set it back up the way it is and finish the final dimension. Bit of work, but it's the only way I can get it accurate. So I'll bring you along when I'm getting a bit closer. Final cut down to 50 power.
Okay, folks, what I'll do is I'll remove it, clean up a little bit, reverse it, and bring you back. So the top is done. It's 9.29, one end. Uh, 9.30 to 32, the other end. It's got to be 8.75 or 7.8. So I'll mount her in and take off the remaining amount and measure up. Just taking a 10 power cut to clean it up. And I'm going to do something I normally don't do is take it out of the vise and just check it that it's machining parallel. And I'll remount it up again and take it down. back soon. Okay guys, I've now got this first block down to size. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's very difficult to get this. Eight seventy five. So I've only got the remaining few blocks to go. When I've done those, I'll bring you back and we'll do the top block. And I'll show you how I'm going to mount them up. Thank you. Okay, I've super glued the top bearing half to the bottom bearing half so I can machine it. I'm going to machine this face down here and across the top of that flat and the same on this side as well. Then I'll put this in the four jaw chuck and continue to machine the other faces back and front. I'll bring you along as we go. We've centered the bearing block in the four jaw chuck, remembering that I've super glued top and bottom together. I've set the height at the split line and uh, off the center both ways, uh, best I can. 
So we'll go ahead and machine it. Okay, it's got some pinholes in it, but I'll take a couple more cuts and I'll bring you back on the finishing cut. That's now cleaned up. It's a tiny little pinhole there, but I'm not worried about that. So I'll give it a finishing cut and that'll do it. Okay, so now I have to drill and ream the ball. Then we'll take it out of this chuck, mount it in the milling machine, drill and tap the retaining bolts. Then I'll put it on the mandrel and turn the other side, but I'll bring you back. change over and put a pilot hole drill. Just a bit of lubricant, coolant. Just drop the speed a bit so I don't get much chatter. Remembering that this bush is only super glued together, so I don't want to split it. Okay, I'll change over the drill to my reaming drill size and then we'll ream at half an inch. 
Okay, we're we'll in the hole now. I'll just slow it down. I'm using an aluminium slash bronze brass cutting lubricant. No chatter. Nice and steady. When you're reaming on the machine, go as slow as you can. This is running at 140 RPM. That's the slowest my lathe will go. I hope you like the new camera angle. The, the camera's now mounted on the cross slide and I can get right into the tool and the job. Okay, that's that bore done. So I'll clean it up, deburr it, take it out, and start the milling operation. Well, I've drilled and tapped the two retaining bolts, and I've now mounted the bearing block on a mandrel in the dredge or chuck so that I can machine and face the opposite side. I did the drilling and tapping off camera just to speed up on the videos are getting a bit long. So I'll machine this side down and that's very close to being finished. I've just got a couple of holes to drill.
the four bearings are finished I've just put the coilers in the top to see how they fit and left them there for a bit of effect they've got to be mounted up now uh, they've come out pretty good well thank you for watching this particular part of the series we'll see you next time on part 7 uh, until then thank you very much bye now